All right. Myspace is back. We're going to grow that. <laughs> All right. Liquidation. I'm just slower than you now because I'm back in my fat form. That was so clutch. Oh, my God. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are live on Twitch right now. This is a Twitch live stream that I'm cutting up into a YouTube video. We've been using teams that people post to my Smogon forum page. Check it out. Smogon forum page. If you guys want me to use your teams, go to my page. Link down in the description down below um, and post a image of like your team's rental code or just the code itself along with a pokey paste. This one's from Andy Law VGC and he says, I'm going to make you regret this. The idea is lead a Lecky plus Ice Q and click Terra Normal Explosion plus Belly Drum. When it all works out, you get two KOs and a plus six and Ice Q for the low price of a Reggie Lecky. I wouldn't call that a low price, but it's still very funny. So we're going to use this team. I have all the info right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys enjoyed at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. Let's go ahead and rent this team really quick. Also, say hi to YouTube chat. I'll show them you in a second. All right. So we got JX. HJX. Very easy code to remember if I didn't just completely miss that, mess that up. JXJHJX. There we go. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Let's do this. So, as you can see, the team has a Sword of Ruin Focus Sash, Terra Ghost, um, Chen Pao. Obviously, that's like a really nice uh, on lead versus um, a few things because next to Aleki, you can go for that uh, explosion for no drawback. Uh, it honestly just looks like a standard like rain hyper offense team for the entire like, you know, the Chen Pao plus the entire right side. And then you just have the Ice Q gimmick, which is really funny. So let's see what we can do. Also, yeah, show everyone. Hello, everyone. Look, I'm live streaming right now. Very cool. All right. Something I need to get in the habit of doing is actually using my stream deck. Like, I keep clicking through my stuff, even though I just should be using my stream deck to do that. All right, so rank battles. Last time, we actually used a Dunsparce team. And even though we only used Dunsparce for one of those battles, we did go undefeated with it. So our rank uh, did increase a little bit. All right, Ian ranking 13, 16. So into this team, there's a ghost type. All right, ghost type detected. Ghost type detected. Fake out detected. How easily am I going to be able to set this up? Hmm. Let me think. So, unfortunately... I'm not even sure how to get around this team. Um, we could lead off with Covert Cloak Tornadus. In this. I don't know if we'll be able to use Ice Q this game. Just because this team has a lot of options into it. Because I know they want to lead off with like Fake Out or Tailwind or something, which would ruin this entire strat. Huh. Let's go with, um, you know what? I think we kind of have to use the Aleki. I think, I think we just kind of have to go with it in the back, even though like we're not going to probably belly drum up, uh, we'll, we'll at least get some use out of it. Cause I just don't really see how else we get around this team. I'm also not a big fan of like double, double choice items in my teams personally, but I have seen them work. So, oh yeah, it's banned at Regilecki, bro. It's banned at Regilecki. This is an Andy Law special. He did say he's going to make me regret this. I'm hoping that he's wrong. Mimikyu Tornadus? Yeah, he was ready for that lead. He was ready for that lead, bro. Alright, probably Rocky Helmet on the Mimikyu. Um... 
Do they want a trick room on me? I don't know. I think in general, I get a lot of value out of just Bleak Wind Storming. I don't want a Tailwind yet. Going for Ice Spin around Tornadus. Yeah. I was going to say, like, I think that they're going to be a faster Tornadus and just taunt me. And because it's uh, Mimikyu, I'm pretty sure the Rocky Helmet's on that and not on the Tornadus. So this should pick up the KO. If there's Sash, I just have to land it on the Tornadus. Hopefully I land it on both because um, then I break the Mimikyu's uh, disguise as well and puts me in a really good spot. Nice. Okay, that's like the best turn one I could ask for. And it's likely going to be... I think they're going to want a Trick Room with Mimikyu or something. For like a Heatran endgame. Play rough, and they miss. This is the best possible turn one for the team that had a bunch of options into this. I was literally like, I don't know how we beat this team, bro. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to beat this team. There's Bundle. Bundle speed gets heightened. I do have Sacred Sword, and I could Terra Steel and go for another. You know what? You want to know something, guys? I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I am simply just crazy. I'm going to land another double and Terra Steel so I don't get KO'd by, like, Freeze Dry. All right. They didn't Terra their uh, bundle, which is really good. Icy Wind. I'm going to dodge it on my Chen Pao. Awesome. <laughs> I don't care on my Tornadus. Connect the Sacred Sword. I just need to land this. Another double. This is the best game I have ever played just because of how lucky I'm getting right now. My opponent is not having a good time. And because they went for that Icy Wind, I assume they want to play rough into my Chen Pao. But I'm Sash. Oh, or into Tornadus. That's fine. That did a lot. Is that a crit? No, it's just Life Orb. We don't have a lot of defense. Look, Tornadus should never have zero defense investment. I don't care if they're max HP. They should always have defense investment. It is just correct. All right. Um, and because it's Urshifu, I can actually just Tailwind here. Oh, I can't Tailwind after a taunt. I'm stupid. Stupid. All right. Uh, let's focus down the Mimikyu and go for another Blinkwind Storm. Yep, that's a Vorbit. Nice. Okay, we take those. Regardless of how dirty that was, we take those. Hopefully we can do the Ice Q thing. I really want to just do the Ice Q thing. But I think we're getting too high on ladder for it to work. Alright, continue battling. 2192. Yeah, and it, it, like we need to do it now. This is going to be the last time I'm going to be at a point in ladder where someone would fall for it. As soon as you hit like 1000 or like sub 1000, it's very rare you're going to get away with this sort of thing. We bring an ice cube to the Timmy slash Nino brawl. Unfortunately, no, I'm not gonna be able to make it. I have D and D that night. Okay. Despite everything, I'm still gonna try it. I know what you're saying. Don't try it, Marcos. It's not worth it. I'm still gonna try it. I'm crazy. I'm crazy, bro. Get tornadoes in the back. Look, we already got our win. Regardless of how dirty it was, we already got our win. I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'm going to try it. 
I have to go for it now or we're not going to be able to use it. Hopefully they just lead off bad. Please lead off just bad. We have a lot of spitf investment in the ice cube though. That could be useful. What's ice cube spitf stat again? Okay, we're not going to get away with it. Are they grassy seed? Okay, wait, no, Protosynthesis. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Just for some reason, my mind went straight to grassy seed. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get, like, faked out, right? I think I need to like protect and go hard into tornadoes. Wait, does this ice cube have speed? Okay, it does have speed. I was gonna say if it doesn't have speed, we're in trouble. As they set up trick room on me, uh okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's use attack stat. 80, okay. So, with that in mind, let's get rid of like the one thing I'm actually scared of real quick. I'm gonna go Chen Pao, and if I'm lucky, <laughs> Ice Spinner with the defense boost might KO, probably not. Crit. That did nothing. Oh my god, this Pokemon's garbage. Get rid of the grassy terrain. That's gonna be useful. Go for the knockoff. It's gonna break my ice face. I do have access to Sucker Punch now. Or I do have the option to Sucker Punch now, which could be useful. They're gonna Shadow Ball me. And unfortunately, my ice cube is like really, really fast. Alright, check it. Belly Drum. Still have Tornadus. I'm going to sack my Chen Pao. Sucker Punch, please, KO. This is really risky. Alright. I'm really hoping they just go for U-Turn. Because under Trick Room, this Ice Q can actually cook. Yes! Okay, KO me. Okay, okay, okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. This could be really big for me. That's a Heatran. I still haven't Terrored, which is really big. Let's get in my Tornadus. There's Urshifu. And now, Terra Water Liquidation into the Heatran, and I Snowscape to get my special defense back up to a point where I can live this hit. No Terra coming out from their side, which means this is working. Alright. Ice Face is back. We're gonna grow that. <laughs> Alright. Liquidation. I'm just slower than you now because I'm back in my fat form. That was so clutch. Oh my god. Yeah, spit F back up too. With any luck, they would have attacked into the uh, tornado slot. Surging Strikes. That's fine. That's gonna do like almost nothing. Actually, this is gonna do a lot more now. All right, I live. That's too much pressure. I 
And I'm also Covert Cloak. Yeah, the hat's on top of his little hair. Okay. There's one turn left of Trick Room. I can't protect or anything. And I still have a Leki. Okay, yeah. I need to pick up a KO this turn. So I'm going to go ahead and go for Ice Spinner into Rillaboom. As well as a Bleak Wind Storm and just hope for the best. Because I can't really protect here. And if they fake out me, I should just barely live. Or probably not, actually. <laughs> I'm just coping. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A lucky might clutch this. A lucky can clutch this. Fake out into you. So you can check send to Ice Cube. A lucky can officially clutch this match. A lucky's going to clutch this match, bro. Rillaboom is most likely assault vest. So my play is now very clear. My play is now extremely clear. I get the speed drop. If the Rillaboom's Assault Vest, it is Jover. It is Jover, bro. Wild Charge. Trick Room is gone, right? I'm not being stupid. Trick Room is indeed gone. All right. Let me make sure I'm max speed so I'm not going to get outsped here. I am max speed. Oh, we're adamant. That might matter. I don't know. Bleak Wind Storm. Cool. And Choice Bandalecki is going to clutch this game up. That was huge. There's also no way I dropped an Aqua Jet, right? Like, Alecky's not actually that frail. Nope. I think even with a crit, I barely live that. Alright, nice. Nice. This is going pretty well. This is going pretty well. Let's see if we can uh, stay undefeated. We'll get one more game. One more game, hopefully we stay undefeated. We might be able to do that Reggie Alecky thing. Where we explode. Yeah, I really like the uh the covert cloak snowscape tech. That can save Ice Cube in a lot of situations. Alright. What am I playing in DD? A uh, Dragonborn Rogue. All right. They are not going to let me do the boom on them. They are not going to let me put the hurt on them. Um, <laughs> how do I do this? I'm not going to be able to effectively put the hurt on them. I need to lead off with this guy. As well as this guy for maximum pressure. I'm going to bring the Amoongus and the Tornadus. And that is my final answer. You may not believe in it right now, but trust me, this is the play. This is 100% the play. Why? Because I think that this lead is scary. And I will not elaborate any further than that. And, and, and specifically because if they're not speed booster flutter, I have a shot. That is literally it. That is that is the entirety of the reason I'm doing that. Yeah, that's literally it. Funny how you're getting all the Urshifu now that you stopped using the Rocky Helmet to Dunsparce. Yeah, exactly. Like now I'm facing like Urshifu every game. I mean, Dunsparce was able to do something in that game. Pretty happy with that. But, you know, now we're using the Ice Q. Just a lot of niche picks today. A lot of fun dudes. 
It's a fun dude kind of day. Chien Pao Fluttermane. Like I said, a fun dude kind of day. Please don't be speed boosting. Special tech, special tech, special tech. Dang it! <laughs> That's the thing I wanted you to not be. You don't have a lot of spit F. You know what? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna get this off anyways. Okay. Going for it? Yep, going for it. Going for it. Don't care. Aqua will not KO a speed boosting floater. They invest a lot into defense. You better be Terra Fairy. It's Jover. We're done. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it's Jover. Okay. Wait, this is actually like fine. One. Two. Please KO. I will cry if it doesn't. Three. Okay. No need to cry. No tears shed. We're balling. We're balling. Belly drum's gonna go off without a hitch. Sacred sword. Don't care. Belly drum up. And now I am a big threat. Big threat to that guy right there on the right. That stupid little little dude. He is quivering, in fact. He's going to send out the Rillaboom right now. There is a Rillaboom in that team, right? I'm not being stupid. Rosalia. Is there no reason to not just target you down? And also go for protect? Can you like send out the... Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Thank you. That was the thing. That's the thing I was looking for. Okay. Trick room, uh, I don't care. I, I don't think I care. You literally can't KO both of these Pokemon. Yeah, and I have a Moongus. Okay. I think it's Jover for him. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Well. I, um... You know what? We'll do one more. We'll do one more. I know that I'm on a hot streak right now, but we're also below 30 minutes, and I try to aim for 30 minutes with all my videos. So we're going to do one more. Let's continue. 1431. We are officially out of Ice Cube being viable territory. We are officially out of viable Ice Cube land. It is no longer viable. Unless we find something we can just do the strat with. Which I'm gonna go for if if I find a team I can just do the strat with. Adrian, eighteen fifty one. 
呃，呃，我 ，You know what? I don't care. All right, I don't care. We're going for it. We're doing it. Um, I'm gonna bring the Amoongus because it's very useful in this game. Two of them. Yeah, there's two of them. What's going on here? They really wanted two Fluttermans, so they said. They, they 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 sat down and they said, Arceus, I know that I have a Flutterman on my team, but can I please, can I please have a second? And one of them definitely has Parasong. If you if you have a Fluttermain and a uh, if you have a Fluttermain and a Mischievous, you have Parasong on one of them. Or that Mischievous might just be a catch all for like Ursaluna. Grimmsnarl, Volk the Rona. What? Okay, we're going for it. This is going to be the only way I'm going to be able to get away with this. Explosion. This is the only way I'm going to get away with it. This is the only lead where it might work. None of you better be Terra Ghost. Thunder Wave? Also, this worked. Alright, kaboom time. Choice ban, Terra Normal Explosion. You do not live this, right? I'll cry. Awesome, we did it. Yay, congrats, you did it. Yay, good job. I really wish I brought... Uh, Tornadus to this game. Did I not bring Tornadus? I don't think I did. I did, however, bring a Moongus, which can be just as useful. Yeah, it's a two-for-one deal, baby. Alright. Now, unfortunately, we did get Thunder Waved. I am going to send in my Amoongus, though. <laughs> and with any luck, they will have a Gudra in the back. Gyarados? Okay, yeah, this is fine. It has never been less fine. Or, it has never been less not fine. It is, it is, it is, it's good. We are in a good spot, is what I'm trying to say. All right, um, I spin her into you, and I am going to Rage Powder. Don't be safety goggles on Gyarados. I'll cry. All right. Let me get this one shot. Ice Q has never got... Okay. Well, we have a new priority. Because they are going to... Oh, no, no. We can still go for it. All right. Oh, and the Rocky Helmet. It's just over. It, it has literally never been as over as it is right now. But I do 100% need to get this damage off. So Ice Spinner again. Rage Powder again. Is there going to Terra? Probably Terra Water. Oh, Terra Grass? Terra Grass, okay. Um, now, I probably don't take the Iron Head, but they are no longer able to deal with um, the immediate threat in the back that is going to be Chen Pao. Iron Head, live! Oh my god, he's crazy. Okay, thank, thank you, Ice Q. Thanks. Really cool. Really cool, dude. Very awesome. Poggers. Poggers. I'm going to sleep that Gudra. And we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Thank you, Ice. You very cool. No reason not to just ice spinner. Cool. Spore. Yep, that's fine. All good. We're fine. Yeah, Ice. You're just not feeling it.
Luckily, we should just one-shot this Gyarados with Ice Spinner now, because we're adamant. Um, oh no, are we adamant? We are jolly. Nah, that's fine. We should still one-shot, because we're Chen Pao. And we do have Sacred Sword, so we can just Rage Powder, Sacred Sword, Rage Powder, Sacred Sword. We just need to get rid of Gyarados first. Nice defense stat, losers. They protect here. Now, I'd imagine here they're just going to want to go for shelter to continue to set up on me, not realizing that I do have access to the most sacred of swords. Sacred sword. Watch them have, like, muddy water and it's over. And it still does nothing. They're still taking Rocky Helmet. Where can you suggest rental teams? I'm glad you asked. You can suggest rental teams on my Smogon forums page by posting them there. Here is the link. Thank you. Alright. Don't get a double protect. That'll just make this more annoying. Don't be Rocky Helmet Gyarados. Shelter, they... They don't know. They don't know. Alright. I'd imagine this two shots. If not three shots, and they're probably just going to forfeit after the first one. Yeah, it's a two shot. And they should forfeit this next turn. They have flash cannon? That's a weird final move. Typically you want heavy slam for one shotting Fluttermane because flash cannon doesn't one shot Fluttermane. But I mean, they're pretty high on ladder, so. All right, nice. Speaking of high on ladder, let's see where we're at. Let's see where we're at after all that. All right. 1,195. Almost top 1,000. Very good. Very good. Anyways, that's going to be it for this session. If you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like, subscribe. Andy Law's link will be in the description down below. Very good team. This is really solid. And yeah, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, do whatever. Have a nice one. Bye.